Alright, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my beginner's guide series. In this video, I'm going to be going over very briefly everything that I've been doing up until this point and talking about what I'm going to do going forward. This is basically the start of mid-game and uh, we're going to be looking to progress into late game and I'm going to tell you what I'll be doing to be doing that. So, where I'm, I'm at now, I literally just cleared all of the first adventure. There's 10 S3, right? So literally, every, I, I cleared all this three-star every mission. That's what I did. Everything in here is done. Claimed all the rewards. You can see I have a decent amount of gold. I have a decent amount of sky stones. Literally, the only thing I've spent sky stones on is inventory space. So I could, let, like, hold more fodder as I go. And then, like, space in my inventory as well. And I was just expanding it a little bit as I needed. Right? Um... Since I'm on my third day logged in, technically, I got the free attack set, which I've been leveling up. And I threw an Arbiter Vildred. And the free set that I got from Unlocking Terria, I just put on her and leveled it up as well. And these two just basically powerhoused me through the entire story. If you're playing during the time of the anniversary, I just stick, stuck, stuck the extra experience on my Tamarin. It helps you accrue penguins. So, it's really nice. And I've just been kind of leveling the dogs on the side as I get them. So these are how you're going to be making your six stars, right? So let me go to my adventurous path because I haven't finished everything there yet. So I unlocked the final one here. Um, I actually have to go back and do some hunts to finish this. And fill out a couple more things in here to finish this because the next thing you, you, you want to be doing once you get to this point is getting this um, unfortunately I already promoted a four star to five star I promoted my two area really fast so that's kind of annoying but I have, so I have to go back and make another one which shouldn't be too hard to do so um, I have a lot of rewards here to claim at least they give you the materials you need to do these crafts. So we'll be able to knock this out. And I'll talk about the sanctuary and stuff too in this video. So yeah, we can do all the crafts from there. Um, yeah, we have to do that first. So we just got to craft 10 pieces of equipment. We'll just go do that real quick. Since we're in the sanctuary, I'll go ahead and talk about it. Um, this is what my sanctuary looks like. I got the center to three. So I can start growing three things at once. So you can start growing dogs. This is how you're going to be promoting your units. Right? Um, you can also spam summon them with stigma. You get stigma pretty quick in this game. Especially with all the free rewards they're giving to new players. You can summon quite a few dogs. Because this is primarily how you make six stars now. You don't actually dog walk them anymore. So, there's that. My high command... Um, I put one over here, speaking of which, and I'm trying to just start accruing the uh, conquest points so I could buy the arena gear faster, right? So I put one here and then one over here, and I'm just doing the two fastest missions because it's the most efficient if you're going to be playing the whole time anyways, right? Steel Workshop, I maxed out the middle one here just for the better chance of doing this. Eventually, you'll max out this entire thing. This, I maxed out this this side for it allowing to hold more and then more generated. Um, this really like builds up over time, right? So you, you pretty much claim this every single day. Um, I'll probably get this to level three eventually, but this is like later down the road. You just want to maximize this. This is just RNG. You'll get more out of these two. And then for Al Alchemist Steeple, I went ahead and maxed out the middle one as well. And this is what I did with all of my... Um, Breath of Orbos from the first chapter. You still accrue them over the second chapter. And you'll be able to add more. But that's just how it's set up now. Um, I, I recommend getting this one done over here so you could start doing these. And start growing three dogs. Um, I haven't even... Like, I have Molagoras up here. I haven't even threw, threw in here yet because I don't exactly need them yet. So I haven't bothered. So that's with that. And we were actually crafting equipment in there when I leave... So, this doesn't really matter. Um, we'll just knock out a 10 craft of whatever. I'll probably just use all this stuff as fodder anyways. You're not going to want to use any of this gear. So, I'm going to look at what piece that I want to level up. I think my chest piece is still level 10. 
Yeah, I'm gonna make some chest pieces. So we're just gonna craft 10 chest pieces. There we go. We don't really care about any of that stuff. Everything is done there. Progress it through here. Come on. Wow. Why can't you do a claim all? Be a nice quality of life change since they just gave me all these resources. Oops. And then they do that. They debate you. The next one, right? And you want to make sure you get these lasting effects too. Okay, and like I said, since we just grabbed all of those, get this free attack set, I'm literally just gonna throw all this stuff in it. Cause it's all garbage. And as I said, you know, hoarding charms, I'm still hoarding several of them. I could level up a lot of this gear a lot faster, but I don't think I need to yet. I'm gonna save those for an instance where I actually need to level up the gear, right? Okay. So now that we got that done, let's go back over to the adventures path. Um, is there any stamina in here? No, I could just receive all. Oh, there is some stamina in here. It's okay. I didn't overcap myself. So we got all those. That. More dogs. There's that. So I got to enhance a piece of equipment to plus 15. To continue, right? So, let's go do that. Now I'm going to use those charms. I have a 13 helmet. That's the closest thing I have. I have 13 boots as well. Um, actually, I think I get more value out of the boots. So let me see if I have any actual charms for the helmet. Yeah, I have actual helmet charms or more. So I'm gonna use these first because these the the greater charms you could just use on anything, right? And I do them one at a time because it gives you more opportunities to get a good or a great when you're enhancing. Okay, no luck. Oh well. That was a good roll. Okay, so now that we got that done, we're here. And now we gotta promote a four star to a five star. Um, I wonder if this works with dogs. So I have these. I think I need to summon more dogs. So I guess I'll give you a, a quick rundown on how to uh, level your heroes. So we have these dogs growing, right? This is what your stigma is going to be used for 99% um, of the time. So we're going to do this. Got some dogs here. Uh, you don't have to scroll down. You just hit this promote all button. And then all this fodder that you collected over going through the story, this is what you're going to be using this for. Um, this process used to be really painful, but they made it way easier. There's that. Let's keep hitting it. Look at all the dogs we got, right? There. Okay, so it does work. No, wait, no, that was for rep. And then we get two more five-star dogs. Hopefully this counts. Yeah, promote a, it, it does count for a dog, okay? So we can almost make a six-star right now. Already. So we got this. Now we got to promote a five star here to six star. Do we have what we need to do that? Yeah, we have more four star dogs here. So what we need is we need to make a bunch of these. So what we'll do is we'll go enhanced experience here. Auto select. These are the penguins you've been getting over the story. Bam, auto select. Bam. 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 But as you can see here, 
We don't have enough of these. We need some more. You could use some of these three-star heroes if you want, but if you're a new hero, I would recommend not doing that. I would triple S every single one of these, like max out their imprint here with dupes and save a copy of every unit. Um, that's how I would recommend doing it to new players, right? So let's go back to the sanctuary. And finish that. Hopefully I have enough. I don't think it's going to be quite enough. There's eight more. What's that? So, I mean, we got with three. Okay, um... So I'm actually going to use some of these. Screw it. She's trash. She's trash. There we go. I'm gonna promote again. As for what hero, I want a six star first. I think these two are fine at level 50. I'm really thinking about six star and the cigarette because she's going to be my main DPS for women. Um, this is where things come a little bit iffy. I think I want to six star the cigarette first. Because like I said, like, we're basically mid game. All you're doing is getting to Wyvern 13 and you're doing everything else in between. That's basically mid game. So let's go ahead and do this. This should max her out, right? She might not have my best gear on right now, but that's because she doesn't exactly help with clearing story fast. But I do think this is what you want your first six star to be is your main Wyvern DPS. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I will eventually probably uh, swap this gear over to her, but guess what? We might not even have to, right? Because we get another set. Boom, right? So, now that we have all this gear, we're gonna take all this gear, we're gonna throw it on her. There we go. We still got all these charms. I'm not gonna use them just yet because we're not really progressing through Wyvern yet. There's no point in me like, leveling up the gear now. I mean, you could level up a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of a start. Um, you kind of want to get a Daydream Joker too, which I don't have. We'll wait. You know, we get 10 free daily summons every day, so maybe we'll get it from that, right? And I'd say the next thing you want to do from here, we have um, side story open to us now since we cleared the story, right? Um, there's a lot of very good things in here. Um, you want to get these, you want to get these, you want to get these. Mainly. For early game. Um, if you really want to bust it out and farm all the catalysts, go for it. Because you're going to need them. Especially if you need them for any unit that you're actually using. But it's, I think, I don't know if you want to spend all your time in a side story when you're very, when you're, when you're just starting the game, right? But you do want to get the covenants, these are summons. You do want to get artifact charms because they're hard to get. So I recommend that for doing side story. Um, and some and there's free gear that comes in the side story too. That's really good, generally. Um, like there's a couple pieces of gear here. This is very good early game. So you do want to get these as well. So progress through the side story a bit. I, I wouldn't spend all your time in it. Unless you absolutely want to, right? It's, it's, I'll leave that up to you. Now there's that. And then unrecorded history is kind of what you're going to be doing next. You want to be basically clearing the entire story again, three starring everything again for the second time. That's also in here. Um, go away. Unrecorded history. Gotta wait to skip again because, yeah. And you're into the whole story again. 
Um, before you start doing this, you want to start Montmorency's specialty change. So you go to the lobby here. You'll notice there's, like, after you finish the 10, this will have this lit up. And you have specialty changes here. It just kind of tells you. You got to get the hero to level 30, right? We should still have some, uh, oh yeah, like I should guess I should also mention, you get her from special, or the uh, connections here. You get a lot of different units here. Um, you unlock her really easily. Just playing the game, you'll get it. So we have her in our box here. Should have enough penguins to just yeet her up. Okay, level 25. We can fix this though. Hang on. Finally got this thing cleared out. More penguins. And if you overspend the experience on these, you get them back. See, so it returns the, uh, the leftover experience. Okay, so now we have Montmorency here. Back to the lobby. Specialty change. We start this. Boom. Boom. Uh, go. There it goes. And then it tells you what you need to do here. Um, this Ezra Adventure Points is literally like the first stage once you get into um, Unrecorded History. So this is why you want to start this now, right? Because you're going to be spending a little bit of time there anyways. You might as well get maximum efficiency. And then, you know, you're going to be claiming the Labyrinth as well. This is going to be your front line for Wyvern, okay? At least starting out. This will get you probably to Wyvern 12 using her in Sigrid. And then a little bit more fine-tuning will get you a little bit further. Um, after you unlock her, you're probably going to want to get Furious here. Which means you're going to have to progress this far as well. Which you'll be able to do just fine. Basically, mid-game is just making sure you're doing everything that you were doing in early game. And just progressing farther everywhere. You want to clear out unrecorded history. You want to progress through chapter 2. You want to go as far into the hunts as you can. You want to collect as many, as much free gear as you can from chapter 2. There's a lot in uh, AP shops there. Um, I don't know if I could show you that just yet because I just unlocked it. Let me see. Boom, boom. Go here. AP exchange. Yeah, you can see. Well, you can see it, but you can't see all of them yet. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, so if I if I go through here, right? There's there's another free set of gear in here. Some of these pieces are pretty decent. You don't really need to craft any gear until you're starting to get into at least Wyvern 11. You will not need to craft anything. Everything's fodder. Just get all the free gear and then push forward that way. But, yeah, we're already going on 18 minutes here. I think I covered pretty much everything. Um, arena... Just want to touch on this real quick. You're going to lose a lot. Right? Just make sure you, you, you do these ones. Um, there's people that just stop playing the game, right? And they have, like, leveled up units and fully geared units that are, you know, they just got demoted all the way down. Right? And they're just, you're just not going to win a lot, right? So don't worry about it. Just make sure you use your flags. Don't let them sit here maxed out. Because you get the reward whether you win or not. Right? Your win rate doesn't really matter. So yeah, between the first video and this video, you should be pretty set. And I'll do like a, another progression guide, you know, midway through mid game. And like when, when I'm starting to like, basically everything I talked about, I'm gonna have done a lot of that and show you where I go from there until I'm actively doing Wyvern. I've played this account for like a day. And this is, wh this is where I'm at now, so yeah. It's pretty easy to progress if you know what you're doing. Um, you don't have to spend resources to progress. They give you basically everything you need. Uh, let me talk in the log talk about login rewards real quick. Uh, you do that here, right? Check in reward. Confirm. Yeah, so this is we're getting a lot of free stuff here, which is really nice. This is the new player event, right? So you can see I'm, I'm logged in on the third day here. And that's where you get this free attack set that's on my Arbiter Vildred, right? And then you get a free health set here. This is what you're going to put on your Montmorency. Basically, save all the fodder that you get from 
playing through stages while you're farming or specialty change while you're progressing through unrecorded history while you're uh, progressing through chapter two save all that fodder expand your inventory as you need it don't don't just dump it you're going to want to get all this gear to plus 15 and you're going to want to get all this gear to plus 15. in addition to like the other pieces that i showed you right the um the the speed set that's on t area the speed set's okay like depending on how it rolls like i i could use this effectiveness here for a wyvern debuffer right um Depending on how it rolls, you can keep rolling it. Like, this one's not rolling bad. And then, same thing with the uh, the set that's on cigarette. Like, these pieces you'll be using for a while. They're good. Um, so, if it rolls well, you know, high, higher percentages. If you're undersure, just check out my gearing guide. It's, it's a little bit different because this is lower level gear. But this gear will last you a while. And you'll be able to use it. Like, it, it, like once you, you're done using it on this character, you can put it on another character that you're leveling up. Like, you'll be able to use it for up until late game once you're in the late game this stuff will fall off but yeah i think that's it so if you enjoyed you know appreciate the like i appreciate the comments i appreciate the subs on the way to 10k i'll catch you guys in the next one peace